as you can see, I'm just finishing off putting the hands together. This is the left hand. Just been putting the um, fixings through the fingers, which is just, I'm just using a three mil um, filament, which I bought a reel of. It's quite expensive just to use for there, but uh, I thought I'd get some. So that's the, the inner bit is drilled out to three and a half and the out is to three mil. So the in, inside is, is, is loose and the, it locks up on the outside. Um, so they're in. Um, I had a bit of, I was testing earlier and I had some slippage on the wrist inside, which you can probably see the gearing on there. Uh, so I'm just going to check what the problem with that was because it kept, uh, sometimes it's working, sometimes it wasn't, but the, the gear, I think it's actually, that's why I think this is slipping on the side there. So I'm going to have to do something with that. Um, that's always been a bit tricky to put together. So that'll be my next uh, little mod. Okay, what I've just now done, previously I was using this with a screw straight onto the uh, pin of the, the um, server, but it was just turning. Um, I just could never get those to, uh, they come printed, but I, I've never managed to get them to fit on there. So I've put, in this one, I've actually put the, um, the wheel that comes with the server, screwed through it, and uh, there's arrow light on there going off at the moment, so hopefully that'll stop it just turning on there. Um, we'll see how that works. I've um, enlarged that hole slightly, so hopefully this screw doesn't clout into there, but I th I th it didn't before, so we should be all right on that. So I've just, had to, I've just slightly modified those hands, because as I say, I had it all, I had it all in uh, working, but then it started slipping again. So I had to take it apart again to finish off these hands, so a uh, bit of an ongoing build and unbuild. Okay, I've just moved the camera around so you can get a better view. I've trimmed the edge off the uh, servo, the original servo wheel. The the gearing is arrow dighted on, and hopefully that will hold, and I've screwed through into the base. So that's now... Hopefully that will hold in a little bit better. Let's just test that. So that's going up to rather down. We're running at that's one degree. That's a hundred and thirty odd. That's one eighty. That seems to be working fine. I've got to put the, the backing on, on the hands, uh, the back plates, um, which I would do. Um, my right hand one, just to show you, I'd already decided, I'd, I put it, I'd glued it all together and then decided to paint the, uh, the, the, the back sections that go on the top. I'll show you. these things basically um, but these ones I'd already glued on so I then <laughs> had to uh, mask it all off and spray them but I managed to cover a bit of it in paint so I'm going to um, so there's black marks over the over the hand slightly this is that this is the right hand which I did uh, last year so that goes on whichever way around that goes on um, so they're all painted ready to go on those two so the hands are finally getting done the arms have been completed I, I built the the left arm so the right arm last year uh, and had the hand built last year but never properly working um, so then I've had it in bits and, uh, and not attached them again so I finally got around to finishing off the left hand which is left arm which is this one or oh, I'm finishing it off now and that being the original right hand one and if you can see that in the camera I've done them slightly differently. Uh, this I put some more tubing on, which I saw someone else doing. Um, 
this has just got, uh, that's actually cut up garden hose tubing, whereas this is two mil or three mil um, printer tubing for 3D printers, uh, PTFE type thing um, that I've got off eBay, I think it was, or Amazon or somewhere. Um, I've also changed the, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, I've also changed the, the servos to a different Thingiverse one, which I'll put a link on. Um, which got the two size servos, uh, but they sit in lower on the servo because the problem I was having on both arms, the problem I've had with both arms is the top section in here hitting the corners of the motors. So that one sits on there, and that one sits on there this was catching the motors particularly uh the inner motor i think it was that one and that those those two motors it was catching if you can sorry i'll bring the arms forward a little bit so you can see them but i was having problems with the the two outer ones on either one just catching this inner ribbing so i've cut that out by hand uh, and then i've just filled it it looks a bit messy but i then filled it with aerodite because i was then a bit worried that it was going to lose structural strength so they've been gluing the other the other big issue i've had this is the right hand arm so this was done last year and it's been used quite a bit so the the robot's been working but if you can see it on there that has cracked there and there so that that section had come out and the same if you can see it there has cracked again there and there so th effectively it was open or was about to fall apart and if i'd lost it it would have been a real pain so i glued it together with some well i put some super glue on it just to hold it down but what i've also done is these are uh, ptfe washers black washers m8 washers to suit the size of the bolt so i've cut them in just because you just to trim it in so it fits there and you can see that one has a quite a bit more trimming uh, and um super glued them in so when the bolts through it the, rather than this bolt just pulling through the top there and snapping off because that's taking the whole weight of the lift of the arm off the bicep hopefully these washers will um solve part of the problem um i'm going to also add in some arrow dyed around there but i just want to put the arm together just see what space i've got when it when it moves i don't want to stop you know pouring arrow dye all over it and uh, and then some running it's jamming up so I've done that to both uh, other issues I broke off I've had great fun with the arms I snapped off that lug but when I dropped the hand which on the floor um, so that's been glued back on again uh, and quite a bit of aerodite poured in there so hopefully that's going to hold in I've also changed these, see if you can, yeah, you can see it on the camera, to M4s, they were M3s, uh, and the, the nuts kept falling out. So you screw it together and the nut comes loose and you have to take the whole thing apart again. So I've, I've changed that one and it would have obviously been a lot easier if I'd had it all in bits, but I didn't. So um, I do recommend putting, getting those properly fitted in before you do anything else because uh, Apart from taking the whole thing apart, it's a, it's a really bad time to do this. But I managed to super glue them in place without super gluing the bolt through it. it took a bit of a, a few attempts. Well, I've just ordered the new Easy B HDD servers, which are the same size, but they're slightly cheaper than the Hobby King ones that uh, are like eighteen pounds or something. I think the Hobby King, the decent versions of these, and I think the uh, Easy B versions are. 14 pounds or something so they're, they're quite expensive uh, but they've got massive uh, torque on them the easy b ones um so i've ordered five and there aren't any in stock so <laughs> maybe some will arrive at some point um i think people have been ordering them so i've ordered five just to mess around with them because i also the motor on the neck packed up as well uh, on the articulated neck what else is there i've Originally, I've always put the wiring, um, when I first built the thing, I never knew where, it was unclear where the little um, uh, PCB board was to go. Because I'm using, although I've gone over to the EZB and I'm rewiring it 
quite extensively. I'm still using some of Gail's original board designs. So that's just sitting in there. I've always had it sitting in there um, and with a ribbon going through and connecting it in. So the other one's just sitting inside here, uh, which you can see. The other board's just sitting there. Which is which is quite good because it means you haven't got all the connectors hanging out at the back of the uh, If you can see normally there'd be lots of server wires hanging out here and you'd have to sort of plug them all together But what it does mean when you're messing around changing servos, you can't properly get to that or you can just get to it So it's the sort of a uh, You know Positive and negative to it really. I'm not quite sure if it's a good place or not, but it does mean that I can just have the ribbon cables just coming out and I can just plug them in so you can disconnect the whole arm That one tightens and that one closes. This has just come out, so I'm going to put a bit of hot melt in there in a second just to hold that in. But just so you can see, I've used these, these Thingiverse uh, units here, drilled through. These are, these are the two part ones, um, and I'll do a link on them. but. They're uh, held together with those screws, so um, I've arrow dyed it, well super glued them inside so they hold in place and then screwed through them uh, and um, the holes are big enough for the wires, they're, they're a nice little print. So they, those wires will come out so when it's relaxed or open, this has got to be, up, this is at one degree, these motors, and just pull those wires through, wrap them around these two two screws and then just tighten off those two screws which pulls it down it holds the whole thing together and locks these two wires tight and then at 90 it'll it'll pull open or up to 90 because I'll show you in a minute I'm, I'm running some of them about 80 which gets the finger to about there somewhere so that's just closing it uh, I've got it going very slowly at the moment so uh, let's speed up a little bit maybe and open so closed these are going clockwise so it's in other words it's pulling on these outer outer wires on the outer ring and just tightening it up uh, and I always got it the wrong way around so that's that's why I'm making the point about which way around it is um, let's just open that back up again just That's the ongoing issues I've got with the hands, which I'm finding probably the hardest bit of the whole assembly so far. Uh, they do, I think they do say that, and uh, they're right.